Good evening, class. Hi, Professor Ferretti. I'm sorry I'm not there today. I'm at a state workshop getting a certificate. But my group's uh, topic was FERPA. You may have heard of it. You may not have heard of it. By the end of our presentation, you will have a good idea of what it stands for. So our group broke it down into four different parts. The first one is history of FERPA. Second is what is FERPA. Third, what FERPA includes and does not include. And lastly, our group's opinion. So how it all began. The truth is, that is about us is everywhere. When we go shopping, when we go on vacation, search a website, or send an email, it's everywhere. But we're not going to focus on now, we're going to focus on the year 1974. Times were a little different, but parents, students, and community members felt violated knowing that anyone can read their personal files. During that time, schools had the authority to deny parents access to their child's school records while allowing many third parties, such as government, governmental agents, access to their records. So the big question in 1974 was, who has access to my personal information? A study was done conducted in the 1970s to prove how serious the abuse of students' records was. They looked at 54 school districts, and out of 54 districts, 20 districts gave parents complete access to their child's records, 29 gave complete access to CIA and FBI officials, 23 to juvenile authorities, and lastly, 21 to health department officials. So this discrimination against parental expansion, expansion and in favor of a third party access stood out very clearly. So this is Senator Buckley. Senator Buckley explained and argued the passage of the 1974 bill in order to put an end to the major threat of privacy. FERPA was a somewhat strange history because it never received consideration by a legislative committee. It was introduced as a floor amendment and was adopted by a voice vote as an amendment to an educational bill. So it has a strange history, but FERPA was signed into law by President Ford on August 21st, 1974, with an effective date of November 19th, 1974.